and welcome back to the channel. Well, we're looking at another case where a four-year-old girl gets a rare bacterial infection from air freshener. Air freshener. It wasn't too long ago that we covered a similar story and here we are again with another bacterial infection, a rare bacterial infection from air freshener. So I'm gonna let you take a listen at the short report on this story and I will be right back. A four-year-old picks up rare bacterial infection from an air freshener. Texan couple Jose and Dustin Baker were stunned when their then four-year-old daughter Lila became so sick she could no longer walk, but had no idea why. It turns out that Lila contracted a rare bacterial infection known as melioidosis, from a common household item. The girl has been fighting off her illness ever since. Before Lila got sick, the couple were enjoying their recent move to a farm in Bells, Texas. Jose and Dustin, along with Lila and her sister Adelaide, made the move in January 2021. It was idyllic. We loved being outside, Dustin explained to people in a recent interview. Lila loves the cows. She loves running barefoot and playing with her cousins out in the little pond. She was always very sweet, quiet, polite, and so giggly he said. But in May 2021, the parents saw signs in Lila that something wasn't right. It started with a low-grade fever and just a typical regular stomach virus that kids get, Lila's aunt, Ashley Kennan, told KXII in June 2021. Jose and Dustin brought her to the hospital and within days she was unable to walk or hold her own head up, Dustin told People. Our lives have turned upside down, he said. She was a healthy little girl running around playing you know with all her animals, and then now we haven't heard her talk," her aunt said at the time. Lila was required to go through months of testing and a five-hour brain biopsy at Children's Medical Center in Plano, Texas. Her doctors ultimately diagnosed her with melioidosis, which is caused by the bacterium Burkholderia pseudomaliae, people reports. Typically, Burkholderia pseudomaliae is found in Northern Australia and Southeast Asia, so her medical team was puzzled how she picked it up all the way in Bells, Texas. That's the big question like everybody is how did she get it? And the honest answer to that is we don't know, Dustin told KXII in July. Soon three other cases of melioidosis popped up in Kansas, Minnesota, and Georgia. Which only made the case more curious. People reports that researchers at the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention looked at the commonalities between the cases and traced the source back to an air freshener spray that was being sold at Walmart at the time, the Better Homes and Gardens Lavender and Chamomile Aromatherapy Spray with Semi-Precious Gemstones. The air freshener has since been recalled. The product was made in a factory in South India, although the CDC is still trying to figure out how the bacteria made its way into the air freshener. Authorities believe it might have come from the water used to make the air freshener or the semi-precious gemstones, which could have been contaminated before it was packaged. You know, it's, it's really sad to say, but people are getting so accustomed to seeing and hearing stories like this, very tragic stories where it's somebody else's problem or somebody else's issue, to where it's just a story, it's just something they're hearing about, right? It isn't until these very things visit someone else's door to where they finally realize that uh, the angel of death or affliction is out here visiting people, regardless to whatever, what, whatever race you are, regardless to your age, your gender. It's like the angel of death is visiting people and taking out relatives, loved ones, the angel of destruction, the angel of affliction, all over the planet. Now, this little girl, she is suffering from something that sounds like it's preventable. Now, they've traced this bacteria back to maybe some um, dirty water that was used to make the air freshener. We forget that these products that we bring into our lives, into our homes, originate somewhere. We just take it for granted that it, just because it comes in a nice, colorful, shiny, clean looking package, that the environment that the product was created in is the same. But when you look at what was described that's happening with this child right now, 
we need to get our eyes open and see that these companies, these companies are making millions of dollars, billions of dollars. And people have to pay or suffer the consequences for their faults. It's getting to the point where you're going to have to start making your own stuff because most of us think air freshener is very, very safe, right? Something we don't need to think about. Before that last story, I'd never, well, I, I did sort of think about air freshener because of my own experiences, right? But I didn't think of it in a way that that air freshener was, was bad per se. I just thought it was an issue that I had because no one else and my family is affected by it, right? Um, and it's a particular kind. Lysol does something to me. I can't deal with it. Can't be around when it's sprayed. Gotta wait till it settles down, you see. And so that alone says, well, it's gotta be something not so good in these cans if it causes what you see happening with this little girl and even the issues that it caused with me and others as well. But nonetheless, these, co these companies continue to sell this stuff. You continue to see incidents like this. This child is suffering with a rare bacterial infection from something that was meant to freshen the air. Wow. Okay. So this shows you that the merchants of the earth, their agenda is to make money. Their agenda is to make money. So parents, grandparents, we all have got to be more vigilant when it comes to things that we buy because this stuff can take you out or it can make you sick, you see? Anyway, I am done with this very tragic story. Uh, this little child suffering with this, this thing. Hopefully things will turn around for the better for her. But she's probably not the only one who has experienced something like this. Some people may not know what it is that has caused it. In this case, they were able to narrow it down. So just be careful out here. Remember in the comment section to keep it tight and keep it right. Okay, until next time. We hope you liked today's topic. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share and like this video, and with that, we're out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel, and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.